everybody, it's Amanda here from ScreenPainMommy.co.uk and today I've got another brilliant Christmas craft idea um, for your craft fairs or as gifts for anything and that is decorated baubles. You can pick up plain like this baubles or clear baubles just about anywhere. doesn't matter where you live in the world, you know, you'll have a pound shop or a dollar tree or something. Just go and have a look and see what you can get and I picked these up very inexpensively. So I'm going to do two designs. Um, not quite hundred percent sure what I'm going to do yet, um, <laughs> but I think I might use these yummies on one of them. <laughs> I have got the full set. These are the stamping blends, and of course these lovely new markers are alcohol markers. Oh, they're falling all over. It's quite a big set. I need to do my storage for them. But they are alcohol markers so you can draw on anything as well as colouring your stamped images. You can use them on things like this. You can use them on porcelain. You could uh, decorate tiles. You can customise things. Um, if you really had a very steady hand, I'm not massively artistic, but if you had a steady hand you could write the year on here. You could write somebody's name on. You could write a date of birth if it's a baby, baby's first Christmas, lots and lots of ideas. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move that because it's rolling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a unicorn. Now, I was sent a video. This is not my idea. They're all over um, Pinterest. Go and have a look. I've not invented it. I'm just having a go. <laughs> and one of my stamping friends, um, Charlie, sent me a video on Facebook. And a lady was making these and I thought, I've got to have a go. So I'm just going to try and make the unicorn's horn first. And this is Sculper. Now, what you need is Sculper or Fimo and you make your horn and then you'd bake it in the oven. I'm not going to bake this. I'm just going to glue it straight on. <laughs> so, you know, if you can't find any, go in your kid's kids playroom and nick some play-doh don't matter it's only for a christmas ornament i mean if you're selling them uh you know if you're making them to sell at a craft um show or a craft stall then you know bake it so it goes hard and then it'll last longer um, but i'm for the purpose of this video i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna stick it on and hope for the best so i'm just rolling out two sausages <laughs> and i'm just going to twist it one around the other just to get a pattern and hopefully you know come up with some sort of a plan don't, I've not really practiced so I don't really know what I'm doing um, I'm not a great model maker I don't think you need to be just uh, do what you think and have some fun I'll just nip that end off okay and I think I will push it a bit so it's a bit squished and I think I'll nip that end off there as well uh, Let's have a look. That'll do for me. That will do for me. <laughs> it's a unicorn's on. You could cover it with Mod Podge to make it, you know, hard. Loads of things you can do. I'm just flattening mine just to make it, just to arrange the shape a bit better. I'm just having a look. And I think, I think that's about right, isn't it? Just about. Just about right. So I've just got my glue gun on. And I'm just going to literally, I'm going to glue it on. Okay. Just put my glue there. I don't want it to um, fall on the floor. Um, so I'm using my glue gun. I'm just sticking that on there. I'm going to hold it while it dries. Uh, just need to turn that like that. Hold that while it dries, like so. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to, first of all, draw my eyes. So, I did practice on a piece of paper earlier. Let me have a look which way around I did it. Um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not a massive artist. <laughs> so, you do one that way. And then you do one that way. Okay. Then just do one, two three flicks for the one, oops, I'm going to do it again, one, two, three flicks for the eyes, we've got some cute eyes and I'm going to give it a little beauty spot there because I just think that's cute, okay, that will do, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some ears 
um, I'm going to make them. You would normally make them out of felt, but I don't have any felt. So I'm just going to go and get some cardstock to do my ears. I'm back. Sorry about that di uh, disruption there. So what I've done is I've just cut one ear out of cardstock. So don't have any felt. And I've just assessed the the size that I want. And then I've just folded over slightly at the bottom, like so. And you can manipulate cardstock, it's quite easy. But I'm going to use that as a template for the next one so that they're both similar. I'm just using scrap cardstock here. Um, if you want to make it really fancy, obviously use felt or fun foam. Um, I don't have any and I'm a great believer in, uh, you know, making do with what you've got. <laughs> if you can't get hold of what you need. Um, so yeah, I will manage with cardstock. And here is where my stamping blends are going to come in because I'm going to colour my ears. Um, first of all, I'm going to do the light pink all over. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with the darker pink for like the inside of the ear. So let me just if I go like that. Just so I've got a darker tone. No, like that. Okay. Do the same here. Yeah. Just colour it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um that will be fine. And then with the just that little bit that's bent back ever so slightly, I'm going to use some glue. I'm using hot glue just because it's quicker when you're videoing. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Okay, I'm just going to stick just about there. And I'm going to hold it so that that moulds to the shape of the bauble, which it does quite nicely. Thank you very much. And the same here. And we'll do that one there like so. I hope I'm in shot. Am I? <laughs> Looking cute already. And then what you do is you just add a selection of flowers around there. So I've got a bag of random flowers here um, from other crafting projects. So let's have a look. Um, ooh, there's another idea for a unicorn horn. You could use a bead cap. Would that fit? That would be it. That would be a cool unicorn horn. That's actually a bead cap with the bits flattened. So you could use that as well. There's another idea. Okay, so what have I got? Sorry, I'm rattling. How annoying! It's like when somebody's eating a packet of crisps when you're watching teller, <laughs> which is what I was doing last night. And my little girl were going, "Give up! Give up!" She's going mad. Right, so let's have a look what we're going to use. I quite like these. I do quite like those, but I don't know if they're a little bit big. I don't want them to totally hide my... Oh, that's cute. Right. So, what I'm going to do is just cut a random selection of these little mini flowers. You can pick flowers up anywhere or you can make your own. Um, you know, if you're a crafter... <laughs> I'm sure you've got some flowers somewhere. Okay, and then I'm just going to start and glue them on. Just round and about. There we go. I mean, you could leave it like that with just the one. But, you know, I can't just do one of anything, me. I'll have to keep going until, you know, there's a billion flowers on there. Then I'll be happy. Then I'll stick a bow on. <laughs> just to be sure. Um, and like I say, you can personalise these. If your my handwriting is like a spider, um, anybody that gets a thank you card that's handwritten from me, I do apologise because my handwriting is awful. Sometimes I just stick labels on, but it's not very personal, that is it? So I do try and write some of them, but my writing's just horrible. It's absolutely just horrible. Um, so I'm not going to try and personalise this. But if you're good at letter writing, or you could even, if you've got some alphabet stickers, you could stick them on. Loads of different things you could do. 
Um, so let's put another flower at the other side. I'm not worried that the flowers are all the same size and all not all the same colour or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. This glow gun's uh, seen better days. <laughs> it's been very well loved as this glow gun. Okay, now I want, do I want, I think I'm going to have a little ribbon bow as well. A ribbon rose, I mean. Just there. Just to finish that off. Just as a little extra. There. Um, do I want another? I'm going to have to have another two. I'm quite a symmetrical person. I'm going to have to have um, some flowers um, that over... <laughs> I'm such a freak. I'm going to have to have one there. And then... That's not quite dry. Let me just hold it. And then I'm going to have to have one there as well. <laughs> I'm a Leo, I like things to be symmetrical. If I do something on one side, I have to do it on the other. Um, it's just how I am. So let's just stick that there. But how cool would these be? You know, and this is just an idea. You might be a lot more artistic than me, and you might do a far better job. Oh, <laughs> you probably will. It's not difficult. Um, glue strands. If you if you get a lot of glue, glue strands, just get your heat gun out and give it a blast. And I'll put the ribbon rose at the other side as well so it matches. Okay, like so. And we got a cute unicorn. That is so cute. Um, I like its little beauty spot. And then what I'd do, most probably, is I'd probably have to, you know, go a little bit further. And I've got some of this tinselly trim again from Stampin' Up. Been using it a lot lately. I'm just going to twist that I'm going to feed that through the because it's not worse than buying a barbell and then you've got to start threading him when you're putting your tree up it's annoying I hate it but I don't like them little plastic hooks either I think they look really rubbish so I'm just going to do something a little bit a little bit nicer so let's just tie that in a loop like so. Make sure it's tight. Trim that off so it's not all fray and nasty. Okay, and then I'm going to, I am going to put a bow on the top of there. So I'm using this um, pink satin ribbon, whose name I have forgotten, but it is a stamping up one. I'm going to tie one of my ribbons that I learned from Queen Pip. Like so. that a tie. I did do a video on this the other day. So I'm not showing you in slow motion. <laughs> Go and have a look on video. Right, let's just get that so it's a bit tad bit smaller. There we go, I'm happy with that. Trim it off to a slant and trim that one to a slant. Like so, that looks pretty. Oh, that was, is that where's which way is tidier? That way or that way? Uh, I quite like that to see that knot, but I think that... Oh, we'll do it that way. I'm faffing. A bit more glue on there. And we'll just attach that to the top of that knot to just make it a little bit more finished and look a little bit prettier. Like so. Okay. And there we go. Let me just, I'm quite proud of that. I really like that. I think that's really cute. So that is my unicorn bauble. <laughs> and there's loads and loads of ideas on Pinterest. Go and have a look. There's loads of different faces you can get. Downloads of how to draw snowman faces, uh, polar bears, pigs, princesses, just about anything. So go and give it a try. Go and have some fun and make some custom baubles. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to check out my blog, screenpinmommy.co.uk.